Okay. Hi. Oh, I see. The first comment. Hello. Okay. Tell me the from. I myself from the Parisia. Today it's a bit chilly and in the morning they had some rain. Okay, I see Haki. We have a lot of people from Haki. Oh, someone from the Parisia region. Stay true. Okay, Haki. Salona. Kherson. Oh, Kherson. Poltava with us. Nipro. Hi, neighbors. Lviv. Cherkasse. Vinice. Nipro. Cherniv. Dubno. Cherkasse. Oh, I see we have from uh, all the Ukrainians. Kiev. Uh, hi, Kiev. Hi, Rivna. Okay. Jetomar, Jetomar with us. Odessa. Okay, more Jetomar. Cool. Cool. I, I see uh, people are still at here. Let's give it a minute for people to come. Yes. Uh, okay. Hi. Oh, it's even, uh, hi, hi, yeah. It's interesting to know for, uh, um, from what uh, learning institutions are you, it's just what I don't dare to ask. I believe it's something like a private, yes? <laughs> something that you tell only me uh, to me uh, in the registration form. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Oh, 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 we have a lot of... Uh, Dnipro is uh, competing with Zhitomer, I see, in participants, yes. Uh, so, I believe we will start slowly, yes, and then people would be adding. Uh, today, I've uh, once again uh, chosen not the most complicated topic, but I believe the very necessary for us to talk about values. Yes. And we will be talking about young learner classroom. You know, uh, most of uh, ELT I ideas and concepts uh, we can use for primary and also for secondary school. Just that we need to uh, make some uh, tweaks, yeah? uh, look for some tips, how to adapt uh, better some ideas. Uh, today we mostly uh, would be concentrating on the young learners the classroom and I will be showing you examples uh, of books uh, for primary. Uh, but uh, I want uh, you to remember that uh, today we are talking about the base, yes, the laying the foundation for our students to develop uh, as uh, critical thinking, um, citizens as global citizens uh, and in secondary school we would be only progressing or trying to make some amends if uh, we skip something in primary school yes um, and also it's a touchy topic as uh, we have uh, to talk about family connection too it's not only about school i believe yes okay uh, i see uh... I see. Not questions. It's good to place right questions to me. I just have a good afternoon. It's also <laughs> a good place to hear. Okay. I see we have a lot of people. We have uh, around 200 uh, right now with us. Yeah. Uh, let's stay tuned. Uh, first of all, uh, um, this is first webinar after the choice of Nush. Uh, I need to thank you from all the linguist team, uh, uh, publishing team, uh, that you You've seen us <laughs> for the first time uh, with Imagine for Ukraine uh, for a uh, uh, choice uh, for books uh, of Nush. If uh, some people are new here and uh, they've come only after choosing Imagine for Ukraine, uh, I want to say uh, thank you to you and uh, welcome to our uh, National Geographic Learning family. Um, thank you for your trust. Uh, um, it means a lot. Uh, I know it's a hard time uh, for us and uh, we uh, tried to tell you a lot of facts about this book to show you all things that would help this choice uh but also uh we create much more right now and uh, i hope you would uh, stay tuned maybe we are not your uh, your uh, first priority to choose for nush but uh, uh please give it a try uh, give it a try to take a look at uh, another books too yeah and uh, i believe uh 
you would become one or two ideas maybe yeah uh, or tell us what to improve it's always to, uh, good to have uh, such conversation you know? i see people are hello from the, the parisia uh, i see people are uh, raising their hands sorry i don't know what to do with it <laughs> but uh, please write in the chat uh so sarne nijan nipra nijan yeah uh, okay before we start uh one more notice that i need to tell you i always tell you about uh, your certificates it's necessary one um so your certificates of participation will be sent to you after three working days we try to implement new strategy three working days it means uh please check your email box um, then on Tuesday, yes, on Tuesday, and to, to take a look if it's there. If not, please contact me. My contacts would be at the end of this webinar uh, and tell me that uh, your certificate uh, you haven't received. Yeah? And I will send it to you personally. Uh, so uh, sometimes they magically appear in the uh, junk box. That's why please check it too. Uh, so on Tuesday, your certificate of participation will be sent to you. Yeah. Oh, uh, you know, then I see uh, colors of our flag. It's like, mm, it's like, it's a bit of cheating. It's, uh, it's hard to stay professional and uh, not uh, being emotional right now. Yes. Uh, okay. Let's try to, to, to do this with Bernard together. Uh, most of time I will be saying you values, 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 uh, but uh, let's still take a look at the agenda of what I propose uh, you to discuss with me today. It's uh, obviously impacts uh, that uh, uh, values have on us as teachers, as students, as just uh, people, yeah, and also as Ukrainians. Uh, as, uh, um, uh, it's hard to take them away from our life. Yes, they are uh, like uh, deep rooted things uh, uh, that we always deal with uh, our values and uh, we always in the process of uh, developing our values. Uh, as it's like that, lifelong learning, uh, lifelong learning, uh, lifelong, uh, learning and also lifelong uh, developing of values. I believe it's something that uh, happens uh, in a parallel. Uh, also, we will take a look at strategies. Uh, I believe most of you would be even guiding me here. As uh, when we talk uh, about uh, values, we have a lot of materials. What to read? I believe we have excellent articles about how to teach social emotional learning to students, how to teach values uh, on um, platforms, no platforms, yes, for teachers. Uh, um, that we can pick up a lot of uh, interesting ideas. And uh, also, uh, I've seen uh, a lot of conferences that um, teachers share it. Yeah? Uh, so I believe we pick up uh, here and there strategies. We see them from the books. So we see a lot. Uh, I just want to summarize them yeah? first to be aware what we bring to the primary school, as it's necessary uh, that to be uh, sure <laughs> What, what you tell uh, such young learners as they look up to you, yeah? So uh, much more than uh, students in secondary school, they already have their own ideas about learning. Uh, this uh, audience, primary school, they uh, still uh, see their teacher like a guru, yeah? So they see you and they listen to you uh, and follow you. That's why we need to be sure that our strategies are working, yes? Um, and we will take a deeper look. It's a uh, word play, as today I will be showing you examples from our book called Look. Um, it's uh, for primary school. Uh, we will take a look at uh, several uh, units and talk about uh, how to teach values with it. Uh, and questions and answers. And please stay tuned. Don't leave us. Uh, I have two important uh, notifications. One would be about international conference. Uh, another would be... Hmm, let us uh, be the secret uh, till I finish my speech. Uh, please use the chat box. I will be asking you some questions. Uh, yeah. If you've been on my webinars, you know that I 
like uh, to have a very active chat and uh, ask you questions here or there, propose you some activities uh, just for the sake of us uh, uh, sharing ideas. Yes, um, it's just boring if I would be only talking, talking, and talking. <laughs> I Okay, so I want to go so basic as it can be. I want to, to show you a slogan of National Geographic Learning. And uh, some of you probably know it. Yes, if you use another book, you probably know it by heart. Yeah, uh, but uh, I want you to guess what to what oh i see <laughs> i already see world yes and life yes world and life uh i wanted to to, to start with you with this concept uh, um as sometimes then we uh, uh talking about elt we sometimes forget the basics uh, uh what we want to do <laughs> and i believe i was not one of the uh, clearest <laughs> what we need to do i also like uh slogan of uh, emma publications yes and the coverage but uh mine i believe it's like a uh, guide <laughs> what you need to do bring the world to the classroom yes bring the real context uh talk about it yes uh help your students to get engaged and then let your students take all everything to the life yes everything that they learn from you to the life so it's uh like um, a road yeah we are bringing real content and then we let in uh, the all knowledge that we received uh, thanks to it uh to the life to see if it will be working yeah so uh, differently we do that and uh, it uh, wouldn't be uh, possible if we only stay at the level of uh, uh, talking about facts yes so uh, the concept of uh, let's talk about uh, geography or history and only facts uh, facts and facts uh, and nothing else um uh, no emotions yes no feelings there no our personal experience uh, there uh, they would be having uh, like um, dry soil yeah, to grow our values it's very necessary for us to have this uh, fruitful soil uh, there we would be planting these um, uh, concepts yes uh, the concepts of uh, values and helping our students to develop it uh, as uh, it's really necessary to understand uh, why why we do something yes differently uh i send that towards what and uh, life i want to show you another quote i believe you know the author of uh, chronicles of narnia uh clive staples levis uh he's a british author um his quote i i liked the most i was looking for interesting quotes about uh, values uh and uh, this one i like the most if you take the values from educational process, what would be left? What would be results? Uh, um, right now, we want to create a uh, global citizen. Yes, uh, we have this concept 21st century skills. Then we uh, want other students to be problem solvers, communicators, collaborators, um, also independent learners. Yes, but if we take away values from a person who is learning, only give him uh, or her education. Yeah. There are facts, uh, there are, um, uh, let's say, dry, dry facts, yes. Uh, what would be left? Uh, make wild guesses. Uh, I, then I sense it each, take a look at it. Uh, today, I thought, mm, uh, let's, I tried to guess, and <laughs> I have to say that I've forgotten what uh, the ending of this quote was. Robot. Okay, it's really good. Robot. Okay. Oh, some some of you <laughs> seen it, yes. Uh, clever devil, uh, yeah, the devils, yes. Uh, maybe more variants. It's uh, I want to use uh, a Levis quote as something that we will discuss. Not only just like please guess and uh, the uh, correct answer. We will be uh, like uh, finishing discussion here. Robot. I see people believe for robot. Yes more uh, a more clever doll uh yeah i, I see you heard it uh a lot yes uh it's ending like that but uh may, uh, maybe more better what's your personal opinion uh no values in education 
As uh, we always discuss such thing, values it's something that we uh, often tell people that it's something that you learn uh, in your family. Yes, and uh, school need to help you to learn values, but it's always in the family. Uh, so I want to uh, ask to understand uh, why it's also a part of uh, uh, other mandatory learning. Yes, so why they implement it uh, uh, into uh, learning. Yeah, yeah. Okay, encyclopedia. Oh, okay, it would be a uh, good idea. Encyclopedia. Yes, uh, like the becoming object, not a subject. Yes. Uh, Sometimes it can happen like that, that we lose uh, mind without soul. Uh, yes, I, I would say even without motivation, yes, as uh, other principles of values, it's something that uh, give us a drive, yeah, uh, I hope, Cossack drive or <laughs> any other type of drive uh, to do something, yeah, and we have some beliefs that we do, like a, a book, yeah, encyclopedia, book, so object, yes, it's uh, it's already not a subject. Subject do think and do something, yes, and uh, object uh, only exist, exist, yes, uh, but uh, okay. Uh, Tatiana Ivano, I hope you are writing just uh, like uh, to the certificate. It's not necessary. It will be sent to you. You can type in uh, your name in the certificate. But if you are proposing <laughs> to be a part of the squad, it's also an interesting approach. Yes. Um, okay. So uh, here, Luis uh, proposed the idea that it uh, we would become a clever devil. Yeah. Uh, but we need this, um, like, uh, let's not stop, uh, say stops, uh, it's not stops, it's something that uh, would give us some modesty or some food, uh, food for thinking, yes? Uh, if it's moral choice for our actions, um, and uh, we live in a democratic uh, country, at least we try to, to be, and we know this principle, um, other rights, are stopping there, the rights of uh, other people are starting, yeah, uh, this concept that uh, we can't uh, abuse our rights to do anything we want. Uh, we need to think about other people, their opinions, their emotions, yes, uh, puppet, oh, uh, it's very interesting, yes, uh, so something who uh, is manipulating us. Uh, I believe, yes, if we uh, see someone, facts, Yes, some facts. We say it's facts. Uh, people can uh, learn it by heart and uh, then uh, use it as arguments, uh, but it wouldn't be ne never their own arguments. They would be just reciting us. Yes, and other facts can be a bit crooked. It's uh, uh, in professional language, it's called uh, spin doctrine. Some facts, uh, it's when we see that the black is uh, white, yes? The war, it's peace, uh, all these facts that we uh, know right now happening. Uh, so, yes, it's definitely about uh, this one. Valor sometimes help us develop critical thinking. Yeah? Um, I want to take a look at... Uh, terror but um, mostly we would just like skim it uh quick revision i, I don't want uh, to impose on your time and also uh to give you additional <laughs> task of uh, revising all the theory that you've learned uh, in the institutes uh, and universities uh so ericsson uh, stages of uh, like a social development you probably know it i just want to remind you that uh, uh, um, we had this stage in the industry and infertility uh what are we students, uh, young learners, what they want? This is what we are dealing We're not dealing with abundance, yes? We uh, don't have to deal with everything and start uh, from a zero point. They already have some experience, so then they come uh, for the first grade, and then they leave uh, the us uh, to go to secondary school. Uh, they have different <laughs> purposes and different struggles, yes? Uh, 
Today, we mostly would be talking about competence, how to achieve our students' competence and help them uh, to understand how things are working. Yes, uh, industry is about that. To understand uh, how they can be part of society, how things are working, uh, how to, to blend with different groups, yes? uh, how to share your ideas, but also to learn to be an um, active part of this group, any, you know, any kind of group. Uh, and also, not to lose yourself, not to feel that uh, your uh, skills, your knowledge, your values are not enough. Yeah? Uh, that competence we try to achieve. Sometimes competence are called like, uh, you need to start uh, learning sport or you need to start uh, learning additional languages in this age. Yes, that's why so sometimes it's uh, um, different articles referred like that. But in general sense, competence, it's about uh, helping other students to learn how to, <laughs> how to learn, yes, uh, to see how they can use everything that we learn and uh, try uh, to take the first steps to the independent learning. Okay, so I have a question for you. What positive values we try to teach uh, for this age? So we have primary uh, learners, Please, uh, one or two, I know they have most like similar ideas about it. Uh, just your favorite uh, the values that you teach and uh, you know, it's always working with students. Uh, what you usually feel like it's easy to teach, yes, uh, positive uh, values. It's negative, it's something that they can learn uh, outside of uh, school and sometimes we need to use it as a contrast, yes. And it's hard to call them values, um, even. So, uh, answer this question. What positive values we try to teach? Please use chat box. One or two, just like friendship, okay. Respect for others, compare, compassion, honesty. Honesty, yes, I haven't told you that we will be talking to, today about it. Family values. Uh, in sense, yes, we can discuss it, okay. It's okay to make mistakes, the best. I know it's very hard for us as teachers to say that it's okay to make mistakes. As, no, we try to help our students to get better, but they need to remember it's okay to take a step back to take a look at your mistake and understand what's happening. Yeah? Okay, sympathy, friendship, help, uh, helpfulness, yes. Teach to study, to study, okay. Kindness and empathy, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, just remember that sometimes uh, students mistake empathy with uh, uh, upper hand in, yes? It's like, oh, uh, they understand that you need to say, oh, so sorry to hear it, but uh, they don't understand that sometimes it can be said uh, just for the sake of saying, yes? Without any ideas behind it. Uh, they need to emphasize that empathy, it's about feeling, Yes, uh, and wanting to help people. It's not about just seeing some empty phrases. Okay, love. Uh, okay, maybe um, I believe in a general sense, yes, uh, most of what we will be talking is about love. Uh, uh, responsibility, yes, definitely one. I have my own uh, list, I will show you. Okay, cooperation, yes, kindness, definitely kindness. We need to be kind. Yeah, diversity, oh, oh. Let's remember it. I will be telling you about it. Okay. Care for animals. Yes. Uh, and I will even show you the first two that I have. Share and care. Yeah. Care. Um, I put in as general as I could. Um, care. Yeah. We need to care for family. We need to care for the people around us. We need to care for ourselves. Yeah, uh, we need to care, take care of our body and also uh, we need to care uh, for animals, yes, uh, our pets and also uh, animals that we see outside, yes. Uh, honesty, friendly co communication, yes. Uh, eco friendliness, yes, we need to take care of uh, this world, yes, we need to be eco friendly. Так. Cherishing life, yes, importance of life. It's right now one of the priorities that we need to tell our students that. And uh, remind ourselves, yes, I believe we can't uh, be excused not to follow values that we teach. Yeah, that's why we need to follow. If we say cherish life, we need to cherish our own lives too as teachers. That's why, please, take care of your safety. 
Yeah. Okay, we teach them uh, mutual understanding and uh, communication. Yes, it's not always about us as teachers and our students. Sometimes we need to help our students to share values inside their own group, horizontal communication, yes? Uh, they need to communicate the, um, without bullying, yes? The, without ignore, uh, ignoring each other. Uh, they need to really help each other to progress, not uh, just degree each other. Uh, and sometimes it's hard. As, uh, at some point, they will try to check boundaries and see um, the power that they already accumulated, how to use it. But we need to explain that power is responsibility. Yes. Okay, respect and love, creativity. Oh, it's a cool. Yes, uh, we need to help our students to, uh, I believe they, if you create a map um, for all values, we would have a lot. Love for Ukraine, one of the best. I believe it's <laughs> right now one of the best. You see, respect. Uh, I, then I was uh, writing it, I, I was thinking, okay, uh, should I uh, write something like uh, respect for elderly and uh, for elder people? Or uh, then I thought, no, uh, respect, it's something that it's like mandatory, that you need to give it everyone. You need to, to respect animals, yes? You need to respect this dog, it's alive. Please respect it. Don't uh, push it. Don't hit it. Yes. You need to respect your teacher. Uh, it's also a person. Uh, this uh, some belief with some expertise and also with some worries and uh, uh, with some emotion. So uh, you need to respect your friend. And also, if you feel uh, like not speaking to some uh, student. Uh, as a student, yes, uh, uh, I'm talking about ignoring someone. Please do it with, with respect. Try uh, not to be aggressive about uh, things that you de dislike. You need to show respect every time, I believe. And uh, also, it's what we discussed, yes, love for Ukraine. Be proud. Um, as uh, sometimes mod uh, values we see as modesty, you need to be humble. In sense, we uh, need sometimes to be humble, yeah. But also, it's really necessary to remember that we sometimes need to be proud. Uh, uh, I I didn't put like country. I wanted to take it to bigger culture. Yes, it means family. We need to be proud of our family. We need to be proud of our community, like what it can be, our backyard. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's first time this uh, for my. Uh, 35 years this uh, year I uh, went outside and uh, plant, uh, plant some uh, flowers. I believe it's too early, but uh, I'm not an expert. Uh, I don't have green hands, uh, but uh, I, I thought uh, what I can do right now. I, I can't do a lot uh, uh, except of donating or uh, doing some charity activities. But uh, what I can do, at least for my background, uh, backyard, I learned uh, and done that uh, and did that. Um, I think it's about this one. They need to take a look. We belong to community, we try to be proud of it. We look for positive things that we like. We're proud of our country, we look uh, and talk about positive things. I'm not saying that we need to ignore negative things, but uh, we need to understand that uh, uh, when we are proud, we try to develop. Then we are only negative, we are not developing. So uh, be proud of our culture, but it's really necessary. And right now we have this. Uh, uh, we ne need not to discriminate. Yeah? And uh, if we just stop at the um, sense of we're talking only about um, examples that seems to us, yes, we not include other cultures. Uh, it's complicated. Uh, I had it with my students, uh, not one or two talks about it, that um, it's sometimes harder for them to communicate with these foreigners just uh, because of uh, the most of time then we discussed uh, topics that they uh, had image that we would be speaking. Uh, no, let's say to mirror, yeah, the same people as they. Uh, but not to foreigners who look different, who can uh, speak differently. Uh, they need to include our now learning these cultures. So it's uh, really necessary as uh, that would be helping us, and English uh, is a big help here, uh, to show that uh, values, it's not only a thing for 
your family or for your class yes it's something can it can be global it can be bigger uh, and it's not only in ukraine we do like that it can like we respect life yeah in the whole world aside from russia um so it's about that we really do a lot of uh, things like that we try to show them that english can help them even in this sense to appreciate our cultures and their values too Protect, yeah, it's necessary. Uh, okay, patriotism, yeah, responsible politeness, yeah, definitely. Uh, I believe uh, politeness is something that, like, uh, next uh, step after respect. Uh, we to uh, take a look at the base, yes, but we will be progressing with it. We would be adding uh, something. Okay, uh, I put uh, two more. It's being res uh, responsible and also do your best. It's something like <laughs> to try, but if you make mistakes, it's okay to make mistakes. Yes, analyze, compare. I see you propose. Ah, uh, financial literacy. Yes, we only take first steps there uh, with uh, primary school, but we can do it. Honesty, being industrious and team work. Yes, uh, and um, I don't want to stop with you only for on primary school. Like ours don't exist. Uh, what we would do with uh, this list and with all your very good ideas um then we need to uh like smoothly uh immigrate uh, no, no it's not like that um smoothly go to the secondary school what they would be learning there they would be learning two things uh, two additional things uh it's uh, integrity yeah they would uh, be talking about how to be truthful yeah and reliable it's not only you need to, to be honest it's about truthful uh, adding like a new layers truthful to yourself yes honest it's uh, more about other people truthful is you and other people too yeah oh thank you <laughs> transition yes definitely transition we haven't transitioned from primary to uh, secondary pay attention that if you start speaking with your students about it uh, then the approach in secondary school it would help them uh, much more uh, sometimes i know that secondary teachers come to uh, into primary classrooms just to greet uh, a few their future students yes and uh, that also helps transition um Okay, uh, and also lifelong learning. It's something that we try to emphasize that uh, we will be learning all our life. Uh, it just, we're not saying like you are convicted for learning, uh, you would be learning all your life. Uh, it's not something bad happened with your life. No, it's something great happened with your life. You would be learning a lot of things in school, uh, in, in, uh, at university, or maybe just outside the world, uh, going uh, around and seeing uh, a lot of things. So learning is cool. Yeah? Uh, that would be added uh, to this list. So let's talk about strategies, how to, to implement it. Okay. Yeah, it's learning to learn skill. Uh, lifelong learning is about that. But uh, then we're talking about learning to learn. Um, sometimes we only pay attention to uh, learning to learn vocabulary, learning to learn grammar, uh, learning to read, uh, learning skills, uh, how to read, yes, uh, how to write. Um, all of that we discuss with them sometimes in the learning to learn. Uh, so it, it's good uh, to talk about that uh, learning can happen in jail. Yeah. So it's what we do. Bring the world to the classroom and then the classroom to life. The classroom to life, it's uh, um, especially this. Uh, okay. Uh, so what we do? What strategies we use? I know that most of teachers are very fond of this uh, strategy. Classroom rules. Uh, tell me, do you have posters with your rules? Pluses, minuses, please tell me. Okay, let's let's see how many of you use it. Okay, okay, I see, I see we have several. Okay, do, do they have people who don't like this strategy? As, uh, no, there is no such thing as ideal strategy, yeah? Uh, some of them just like, no, not for our taste maybe. Okay, I see only pluses. We, oh, we have a lot of pluses. Okay, so I, I know that you understand. 
Uh, yes, it's a fun game. It's it's interesting activity. Everything that engaging is really helpful in primary school. Uh, I want to discuss you uh, how you form it, um, as we have different approaches to how to create your uh, classroom roles. Another question. Uh, you create it with your students or you propose variants to your students? What do you like? Let's say the first option one would be students, uh, oh, students write the rules uh, and uh, minus, no, let's say plus minus, uh, minus uh, you propose. Okay. Okay. I see pluses. So most of people uh, uh, really let a uh, boss. Uh, yes, I know, like, I'm for uh, uh, giving students some freedom, but uh, then they have activities that need to be controlled and uh, at least monitored. And uh, I would say um, sometimes it's a uh, creative order <laughs> better than creative uh, freedom. Okay. Yes, discussion, uh, definitely going through discussion. Uh, okay, I want you to criticize my list. Take a look. Um, why my list wouldn't be working with most of students? Uh, like, I can create this list and we can discuss it, but uh, in a sense, it's not the, uh, the best type of um, uh, phrases that I've chosen. Uh, what is wrong here? How to make it be better? for students to understand that uh, I'm included. Okay. And they included and we follow these rules. They have uh, some uh, draw pictures. Yes, different uh, draw pictures. Yes, form of instruction. It's instructions. Who likes instructions? Uh, I've bought uh, a gadget. I am opening. I really wanted this gadget. I want to try to use it. Would I be really reading a long uh, instruction? No. If my uh, teacher is here, if I'm here, we only just uh, take a step and dive into English. Why we need to read a lot of instructions? No one likes to read instructions. Uh, that's why then we see all these um, like uh, agreements between us and um, software providers, uh, it's something that we scheme, scheme very quickly and uh, just uh, push admit and uh, uh, install uh, what we want. Uh, so, yes, it's really a bad idea to do like that. Instructions uh, not working with primary school. Uh, I share, yes, but I would put even better, V, yes? If I share, it's only like me, individual, yes? Uh, I'm taking responsibility. It's one of variants what we can do. But uh, the better variant is that we agreed, yes? It's like signing a contract that I as a teacher and uh, they as a student would be doing the same. If I uh, say we respect, it means I respect my students, they respect me and we respect everyone who's coming uh, to our classroom, yes? Uh, so they create this environment, friendly environment that can help us uh, to be to together. Yeah, okay. I share, I can, I respect the, yeah. Uh, we can uh, sometimes revise our uh, list of uh, rules uh, and uh, uh, we can ask which rule we, for example, didn't follow in particular situation. Yeah, and then we can talk about I taking responsibility for it. It would be be responsible. Yes, uh, do your best. Uh, if your student skipped homework, uh, take a look at this list. Do your best. It means that you at least tried. <laughs> okay, we can make a project. Uh, I believe. Mm, it's uh, included in the uh, concept of projects that uh, uh, behavioral cha uh, uh, change of behavioral pattern would be uh, a result outcome of a project. Project is something that we uh, uh, create as outcome of learning process. And it's uh, also a learning process. We uh, discussed it and we created a project. It can be a poster, it can be uh, something like a picture that you can send to your group chat. 
with the students or will and share with parents uh, uh, also it's a good to include parents especially uh, especially uh, you can give them both parents in english and ukrainian it would help them to understand what you're doing and appreciate your work much more uh, as we need to if you like it or don't like, but we need to be on credibility with our parents to show them a lot of uh, good and interesting outcomes that they would appreciate. Uh, and then something bad happens, bad uh, attitude of their uh, children or bad marks or bad uh, oh, yeah, uh, behavior. Uh, they take a bit of uh, from other credibility and uh, they seen as teachers who are still trying to make the best uh, yeah okay i i will show you another example uh, not uh, it's good that we mostly agree that classroom rules uh, interesting strategy and uh, easy and uh, uh, good to implement uh, another strategy is that we can create our calendar it can be something that we will be talking, uh, like what we will be doing. Uh, it will, September would be a month for respect and kindness, yes? Uh, we would be trying to implement that one, especially. We would be looking at it and discussing it uh, much more and uh, revising it more. So it can be also done, uh, such small calendars, uh, as something that we've done. Like uh, um, if you want to dive in particular ones, Yes, if you see, usually it's not the first grade, it's uh, uh, second, uh, third. Now you already know your students and you understand that there would be a, uh, blank spots that you would like to correct and uh, it would be really working uh, like that. So uh, have you been using such strategic calendars, value calendars? No? Just that I haven't seen it, I haven't heard it uh, a lot from uh, Ukrainian teachers, mostly I've heard it from um, Americans and also some of British, that they, they do it like that, uh, they have these calendars, sometimes it's, uh, they include activities with parents, what they do uh, there, or just some excursions, but right now it's not possible for us to include, uh, it's uh, just like uh, you see why calendar as i understood how to use it um it's uh, you put an emphasis on a particular value you put uh, it on the first uh, like yes we will be learning english but especially we will be learning how to use english to respect people how to show that uh, our kindness to uh, to outside world uh, something like that uh, so they put emphasis and uh, we can have more projects dive more in it but uh, i once more emphasize it's not a first grade it's uh, from the second one it's uh, a bit older young learners uh as it's really hard uh, to follow for very young students then we pay too much emphasis on particular values they need this change yeah but yeah yes i believe it's interesting idea you see it's more for correction yeah it's not like uh, what you do from the uh, first greeting it's something that uh, uh, you have to develop in, in sense yes but uh, if you would be looking for most of concepts what we need to do what strategies we would be using i will show you very basic uh, <laughs> explanation of what we will be doing please help me to add here uh, so write your ideas uh, what to add uh, first of all we need to show example we need to, uh, to roll a model if we telling people something how to behave yeah uh, what ideals and uh, beliefs to follow we need to demonstrate that if we tell someone respect elders we need to show how we respect elders too yeah uh, that need to be shown if we tell uh, that you need to be responsible we need to show example of being responsible is it's a concept if you tell something uh, people can listen and uh, they can just skip it uh, if you uh, try uh, to include people in it they begin to understand it uh, if you really engage them they would be uh, even uh, racing with you doing it so 
try to show example. I believe most of us do that. Yes, we uh, uh, set in some example and uh, help our students to understand uh, uh, how to imp implement these values. Uh, sometimes it uh, starts with very basic some uh, things like we are greeting our students this hi and we are saying forever with bye yes it's uh, the first step that we take with primary uh, and our students repeat <laughs> with us hi and bye yes uh, also we discuss this create positive classroom environment uh, we can create this um, map uh, or other open uh, class, uh, classroom uh, rules. It's just that uh, we need to revise it constantly to, uh, to have this um, positive and also inclusive uh, environment, uh, to, uh, not to derate. Uh, we need just to uh, help it to grow and grow and grow uh, to see that it's really working. If you see that uh, you have classroom rules, but something is not working, it's time to discuss it, to revise it. Maybe you need to uh, uh, change your rules a bit, as it's hard to follow for your students. Uh, sometimes they try to break rules, but if you see it's constant, uh, it's constant thing, uh, try to discuss it with them. Maybe they want a different rule to be working here. Uh, sometimes it's more about uh, helping community uh, to grow than just imposing rules on them, yes? Okay, also, it's a good idea. We use all materials that would be helpful for us, books, stories, any kind of uh, uh, own experience that we can tell, uh, uh, any photos that we can use. We discuss a lot of things with other students like, like that. So any kind of source that you can use and uh, uh, discuss, video, yes, different video, uh, we show, and uh, as examples, and we ask questions. Why? Do you think it's a good uh, or it's bad? Yes, we discuss how it's working. Why these people do like that? Uh, would you like to do like that? Yes, uh, we ask a lot of uh, such questions uh, to emphasize behavior. And uh, then we try to uh, recycle it. So our, um, it's a rule. It's like, uh, uh, I believe it's even awesome. Uh, the closer to us, uh, holds the more importance than uh, um, ideas and beliefs that uh, uh, have some distance from us. So our own experiences, our own emotion, always uh, more valuable than some stories in the books. Uh, books are cool. It's a great source of uh, discuss uh, for discussion, but uh, then you share your own experience or your own emotion. Uh, uh, it's already much more helpful for your students, yes? And then uh, teachers are emotional. I'm not saying being angry or always smiley. I'm uh, telling uh, about being truthful to your emotions and sharing with students that, oh, you know, today I feel about uh, under the desert a bit, yeah? Or like I told you, it's a bit chilly today for me. Uh, so it means that uh, I probably feel not really comfortable right now uh, in sense of um, like I, I want some warmth. Yes. Uh, so it's about emotions, our feelings. It's okay to share, but uh, understand that, yes, you need to put a boundary, uh, like what you are ready to show to your students and what you want to leave to for yourself as uh, we can't be like an open book to our students we need to uh, have our own private life as uh, people yeah uh, the teachers are also people <laughs> we need to understand that we, some emotions we live for ourselves uh, some experience we live for ourselves but uh, everything that you feel like sharing please share with your students they would be uh, learning it would be like role modeling for them. They would be understanding that it's a key to share with you. Yeah. And if not with you, they would be sharing it with uh, adults. And if they would experience some uh, bad scenes, it would be easier for them to overcome if they learned how to share. That's why we're talking about this value and put it like a first one, that sharing is really necessary, as it's uh, uh, like base of the uh, values. Also, games. <laughs> I believe uh, I'm going really basic uh, primary school. It's uh, good to have different types of games to include our students and uh, to engage them in activities. Yes, and also 
final, it's important to celebrate good behavior. Uh, like we need to say, oh, oh, you're doing like that. Oh, great. Yeah, they need to um, sometimes just to smile and we see our students uh, trying to follow our classroom rules. Yeah? And also in the uh, idea of helping our students to communicate this group in small groups, it's good to uh, try to look for these examples when other students uh, recognize positive behavior. Uh, that would be also really helpful as uh, other students respect us, but also they respect opinions of their classmates. Uh, and uh, the, for them, then they approach secondary school. Uh, opinion of their classmates sometimes grows be given uh, our opinion. Uh, and uh, they would be paying more attention there. That's why it's important that we would be helping to create this environment that uh, recognition of positive behavior would be something that all people are doing, us and students, not only the teacher, recognize and uh, prize. Our, stu uh, our students uh, need to learn how to prize other people too. It would be a good uh, value to add. Uh, today I want uh, to show you, look, we are still, uh, still not finishing, I still have time with you. So, uh, so you look, it's a very uh, classic topic. My town and value looks like that. Love your town. Uh, it's first level. It means the, what, only, uh, what we need to do. To listen to a song, yes. Uh, to see it with other students, maybe using different voices. Good strategy. Uh, and then we need to discuss uh, what we will be discussing. Obviously, this photo. <laughs> If you are uh, familiar with this National Geographic learning, you know that uh, every photo that we have in our books, we use to the max. Uh, we discuss it, we try to develop critical thinking about it. But I want to talk about value, how to, to, how to include this. It seems like a small uh, phrase, love your town, the activities. Uh, yeah. Especially for such things, so most of uh, what you need to do would be in a teacher's book. But I propose you uh, to think uh, what we would be doing, like concept of like chain of action. First of all, a uh, teacher shows a photo of her own, no, her, his uh, uh, own hometown, yes, and say, I love you. My hometown, yes, I love you. It's uh, sometimes it's easier to understand. Uh, phrase I, I love you. Um, if you have some photos where you stand here, uh, I love, and uh, title of your um, name of your city, it, it would be also helpful. Yeah, <laughs> two scenes we combine, uh, and then uh, like we can pretend that, like we're trying to do something harmful, B bad behavior. We need contrast, yes. We need contrast, uh, like littering, yes? Like uh, we put a photo and then we take pieces of uh, paper and try to litter on this photo and ask students, is this bad? Is this bad? Like um, trying to imitate that we are bad person, like uh, they've seen from cartoons. Uh, is this bad? Obviously, they, uh, they will say yes, as parents, they teach them. Uh, like. Uh, and then it's what we need to do. It's the most important step in all this lesson. Uh, we need to say, this is not how I love my city. This is not how I love my city. And then we need to, uh, to put it into, into practice. We ask children to draw. Maybe this road, maybe their own uh, favorite place in their town. Uh, and then we ask students to draw litter, to draw litter there, yes? Uh, the same, like a garbage around the, uh, most of the uh, children, they like to draw something pretty, yes? They put a lot uh, of uh, um, beautiful, they uh, put a lot of flowers, they uh, draw very uh, high trees, they uh, put a lot of greenery and uh, also they include people themselves in this uh, picture. Yes, yeah, it's uh, um, like obvious what the children usually draw and you ask them to draw their uh, place, but uh, ask them to draw garbage, to draw litter around it. And then necessary step, we ask to draw people 
it can be uh, like uh, a schematic, but they pick up. Yeah, so uh, they uh, take three, uh, three steps. We draw a beautiful picture. We create a situation that it's differently. We can say, this is not how we love my, uh, our city. And then we finish it with action. What you need to do to show love for your city? Pick up, pick up, pick up. Yes, it's what we do. Um, I'm from Zaporizhia. We do like that. We later, but we try to clean at least our hoarded uh, island. Uh, we, uh, uh, we try to go and collect it. Yeah, but for children to understand that it needs to go through something that they often do, draw one. And this activity, if you don't have time right now, we uh, don't have time. You can explain to parents, and it would be interesting for them. Parents really uh, easy to engage if it's uh, not something like homework. Drawing it's interesting for them, and uh, you would say uh, drawing garbage. It's something that we would help the children to draw is it's funny yeah. uh, most of the parents they previously never drew garbage and uh, littering uh, only <laughs> pretty things uh, right now it would be interesting for them that's why uh, it's uh, it just uh, help uh, them remind their children something like that this is not how i love my town this is not how uh, i love my town you cannot this is how i love my town Yes, uh, and we can do it with a lot of activities. You see, mine is uh, basic, love your town, but we can have different. It can be about family, yes? Uh, we can put these people, draw them, staying away from each other. This is not how I love my family. This is closer. This is how I love my family, yes? Uh, this is not how I love people. This is how I greet people, yes? Uh, uh, try to uh, use a creation. Uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is not. Uh, it's a really interesting activity that you can include. And it can be about this. Uh, you can ask uh, questions about, take a look, uh, it's a scary situation, yeah? How you will protect yourself? Uh, running around, this is not how I protect myself. Hiding away, this is how I protect myself, yes? Or animals. Uh, what we do with animals? Push it. This is not how they do that. Patting, yes? This is how they do it, but only asking permission of adult, yes? If uh, adults say it's not okay to pat, uh, animal can be wild, they don't do that, yes? Uh, they need to sometimes set rules, but uh, we also need to set values that we pet, we not push animals. We have conference. It's already time of, uh, to have a uh, um, spring conference. And uh, this time with us uh, on April 6th would be Alex and Ellen. Uh, uh, you are first to hear about it. We uh, still haven't posted about it. We will be posting next week. Uh, so please, uh, use this QR code uh, to register if you're interested. Uh, we have a pretty big one, three topics. Uh, we will be discussing, um, Alex would be giving two speeches, uh, and also uh, Ellen would be talking about social emotional development of students, but we will be talking about secondary two. So if you're interested, please take a part. Um, also, let's qu uh, do a quick check to see if you have any questions, do you have any questions about today's topic, about values? No, I don't see any. Okay, uh, I understand uh, that uh, please try to reflect and use something for your next lesson or maybe for your next uh, first grade, uh, some ideas that you would try to include. I believe calendar is cool one. Uh, thank you for having me today. Uh, if you know, oh, your certificate will be sent to you in three working days. So on Tuesday, it will be uh, in your email box. And uh, if you need to contact me, please use my phone and my email. Subscribe to our Telegram. And so uh, I would uh, really appreciate if you would subscribe to our uh, Facebook, uh, it's uh, the main social me media for us. And uh, please 
stay safe. Thank you for today. Thank you for having me. See you next time. Bye.